So we're entering into truly abstract textures here. And what you're hearing is the end result of a technique that can be used to create some really interesting futuristic and uh, really quite eccentric textures. And this is because of Cubase's Elastic Time Stretcher algorithm. And I've used the Elastic Pro Pitch algorithm in order to get this texture. Essentially what you're hearing is a 1000% longer version of one of my tracks. And this has got some really interesting flavors in it. Let me just jump to some points for you. So if you've ever used some of the granular synths out there, particularly if you've explored some of the reactor library, you would have heard these kind of textures. And what we're looking for here is to, after we've done the process, to pick some good sections, bring them into Groove Agent 1 or a sampler so that we can trigger these and get a more on the fly performance. So, you know, this is the end result. We're looking to pick some of the good textures that we can hear. So what I'll do is I'll backtrack a bit and I'll show you actually how we got to this point. So this is what it sounded like before the actual time stretching. This is the original track and just listening to what we've got here, there's a synthesized arpeggio. I deliberately picked this because it's got quite a simple amount of elements in the track. If you pick a track that's got beats, you could end up with quite a chaotic texture, but it actually might be worth trying. So there's not necessarily any rules to follow here, but I wanted to get something reasonably ambient in order to create the end results. If I could have changed things, what I would have done is probably taken out some of these percussive elements, things like the ride symbol there. Uh, there's a tambourine that comes up, a crash, splash, that sort of thing potentially um, I would take out. But equally, they can create some really, really interesting high frequency textures that seep into the actual end result. So we've got an electric bass here. Let me just move it forward. There's a filtered string there. Arpeggio coming back. Piano. A vocal even. So all of these textures are the source of the end result. So the end result, let's create that now with the event selected. Let's right click. Let's come down to process and we're going to come down to time stretch. So we've got the options here. This is a static process offline. You know, this is not happening in real time. We're going to render the results as a new audio file. So over here, Elastic Pro Pitch, this is the one that I have selected. We can choose other ones, of course. You will have seen this information so far. But the Elastic Pro Pitch is the one that I've selected. And I've also taken the time stretch ratio way beyond what we would normally do, right up to the maximum of 1,000%. So I'm going to click process and we're going to cook it up and we're going to end up with the results that we heard originally. So here's the finished stretch file. I've also got Groove Agent 1 loaded up because what I want to do is to pick some sections, drop them onto the pads and then be able to trigger those in real time. So let's just focus on the section over here. There were some elements that I really liked. So I'm just going to have a listen. I think it was somewhere around here. Okay, from the cursor, I'm going to split. So I'm going to push Alt plus X, and that's place a cut at the cursor. Let's have a listen from over here. There's a good one there. So I'm going to do another cut. So Alt plus X at the cursor.
There's another one. There you go. Another one. I like the bass note in that one. And the nice glistening electronic kind of sound coming from that splash cymbal there as well. That's working well. So look, I could be here for a while, but just for the purposes of the demo, I'm going to select these and then I'm going to drag them down onto Groove Agent 1 onto the first pad. And then what it's doing is it's connecting these to the individual pads. So we're going to see this in a second. So these are now mapped onto the pads and at the moment these will play to the very end. So if I just push this now, you can hear it's playing to the end of the actual slice that I made. So I want to change that behavior. If we go into voice and we can just set the trigger mode here to key hold. Let's just do this with the others as well. We can, of course, adjust the start and end points if we need to. And what we do is we set up the MIDI track and we are going to trigger the sounds on the fly. This one here, I can just hear a little bit of a click, so I'm just going to sort that one out. Let's go here. It's just the very beginning of that. That's better. So you get some really interesting futuristic textures. It takes a little bit of work, you know, but a lot of the time when you're creating abstract sounds of your own, it does take a bit of time. So it's well worth it because you're going to end up with textures that are different to what you can create with your usual instruments.